Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 11th of March 1702, the Daily Courant, the first daily English language newspaper in the world, was published in London. The Daily Courant was established by E. Mallet at offices on Fleet Street, which had been an important centre for printing since the early 16th century. The government's strict control over the press had only ended with the end of the Licensing of the Press Act in 1695, and British society took time to adapt to the new press freedoms. Consequently, there is some dispute over who exactly E. Mallet was, but most sources agree that the paper was established by Elizabeth Mallet, the wife of the deceased printer David Mallet. It would have been jarring for many people at the time to have seen the name of a woman on the byline of a newspaper, so it's understood that she instead used a single initial and referred to herself as he if necessary. The single-sheet newspaper carried digests of foreign newspapers on the front page and adverts on the reverse. Mallet herself claimed to give news daily and impartially, while promising that the author will take it upon himself never to give any comments or conjectures of his own, but will relate only matter of fact, supposing other people to have sense enough to make reflections for themselves. By 1703, Mallet had sold the Daily Courant to the printer and bookseller Samuel Buckley, who continued to produce the daily editions after relocating the officers to another area of the city. Buckley later launched The Spectator, not to be confused with the current weekly magazine that began in the 19th century, but this new publication lasted for less than two years. Meanwhile, the Daily Courant continued to be printed until 1735, when it merged with the Daily Gazetteer that survived in various forms until 1797. <laughs>